Hello everyone, welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, make sure you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming again. So we are in the Christmas festive season and in this video I will be showing you how to design a Christmas promo flyer in Photoshop. So let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing that I will do is I will create a new document. So I'll go to file and then new and I'll create a 10 by 10 inches document and I'll leave the resolution 300 then I'll click OK. So first thing first I'm going to add a gradient to this particular layer. So I'll go to gradient and then I'll add this particular gradient. You can check out the colors from here. This is the colors. Alright, so and the other one is white, so you can just leave it like that. And then you click OK. Now I'll go ahead and reverse this particular gradient. So you click on reverse, and then the blue one, the light blue, come on top like this one. So I'll just click OK and I'm done. Now I'll go ahead and add a new layer. So create a new layer over here. And then I'll go and select my brush. I'll make sure that I have the color foreground color to be white and then I'll click OK so this is the brush that I'm using I'll add it in the description so that you can also download so I'll go ahead and paint over it so that it give me some sort of snow yeah something like this and then I'm I'm done with it okay so I'll go ahead and go to file open and then these are the things that I'm going to use so first I'll open this particular Christmas um, image so I'll open it over here and then I'll bring it inside my work so I have it over here I'll place it just over this place and then I can get rid of this one now go to file again and then open another one so we, we just have to be opening and positioning your images just like that right so I'll open the first one now I'll get rid of the background so I'll be using um, the magic eraser tool the magic eraser tool so left click and then it will get rid of this particular um, background and then I'll send it to my image my document sorry so I'll just transform it a bit just like this and then you position it in the middle so you have something very nice like this now what I'm going to do next I'll just go to file again then new so basically you'll be cropping your images removing the backgrounds and then position it in the middle so that is what I'll be doing so it will take up to you how you want your design to be how you want the items to be positioned so I think I have to fast forward this area and I'll catch you when I'm done with that Okay, so after a long time positioning my items, this is what I have over here. So I'll select all of them, the items that is ranging from, so I can group them and call them images, something like this. And then you can position all of them somewhere very nicely like this. Alright, so the next thing that I'll do is I'll go to file, then I'll bring in Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is over here. I'll just bring in and then I'll position it somewhere around this place okay so I'll go to file again and this time around I'll place this particular image over so I'll adjust it 
and then I'll bring it over to the side. So Control T will help you to make the adjustment very nicely. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, test to it. So I'll select the test tool, and then I'm using this particular font, which I will add in the description. Don't worry. And the color, any color of your choice. But I'm using something like red. It's not that red. So you start to type. So Christmas, and then Control T, and then I'll transform it something like this and then I'll right click on this one and go to blending options I'll set the stroke to white color to white and then increase it out a little bit and then I'll select the outer glow increase the size and the spread a little bit so that will give me some shiny yeah somewhere around this place so after that I'll copy it by pressing ctrl J and then I'll bring it down and edit it so I'll edit it to promo so I have the Christmas promo ready okay now to this side all that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the eclipse from here so you select the eclipse and then you hold shift to draw a nice eclipse over here so I have this and then I'll be adding a test to it so I'll select the test change the font to a vertical insert and then I'll change the color to something yellow yellowish okay so I run this place and then I can type anywhere so up to okay so I'll bring the inside I think the yellow is too small so let me make it a bit more yellowish let me take it up small yes yeah, so I think this is okay and then I'll click okay so I can just increase it out a bit it's too big okay so small and then I'll press Ctrl J to duplicate this one and edit that to the percentage. So I think it's all right. So 50 percent, and then I'll bold that one. So I'll bold in it. Okay. So you just have to take your time in doing this. I think you are going to get a better resource than mine since I'm in a hurry. Alright, so I'll edit this one to, to discount. So it's up to 50% discount, you know that. Alright, so okay. Once I'm done with this one, all that I'm going to do again is I'll take the rectangle tool from this area and then I'll bring it down and then I'll draw a rectangle over here. So I'll change the color first. To this particular color okay and then I'll position it very nicely and make a duplicate of that rectangle and bring it up so I'll change the color to this particular color over here let me take this down small okay and then I'll bring this one up And then I can just drag it over here. That is maybe perhaps where you add your name if you want to. So I'll change the color to white. And then I'll type, you know, graphics. You are not seeing it because it has blended with a white color. So once I bring it over here and position it, I think you have, you can see it clearly now. So I'll select the rectangle and then position it very nicely. So I have my inner graphics over here 
and then any other info you want to add will be at your own risk so i would like to add my facebook page all right so the font that i'll be using is acrobat and then i'll change the color to black and then i'll add um, www.facebook.com forward slash inographics so that's my facebook page you can check it out for more exciting designs so i'll board in it and then i'll place it on top of this particular layer so i have it over here you can zoom in and then adjust it small all right and then you can position it in the middle and then we are done so this is how to design a very simple christmas promo flyer in photoshop i hope this video was helpful if it was i hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye